hey guys welcome to my channel code canvas in this video we will learn about css property background blend mode so the background blend mode property defines how an element's background image should blend with its background color so this property will define how an element's background image should mix should blend with its background color so let's see with an actual example okay so in html uh, let's say we have one div with class columns why i'm using columns i'm using bulma css so uh, bulma css has common class columns and in that class in that div we can add multiple columns okay so this is a one column and second column let's add some text this is first column and this is second column okay so let's see how it looks so this is a layout of two columns okay fine so here let's start writing some css for that let's add one class to left and to right okay so let's add left uh, for example i'm giving width 50% right float left it isn't required but yeah let's give it the next property we can give is height let's give 500 pixel okay background image so background with url i have a url with background image so i will add this let's see it is showing yeah so this is a background image okay with background image you can apply some background position that is center center a background repeat no repeat and background size let's keep it cover okay so these are the values for uh, a background position size and repeat so this is how it looks okay for text we can give text align as center and font size value as 24 pixel okay let's see how it looks so this is looking good okay similarly we can copy this css for right div it will look similarly right so what we will do we will apply this background blend mode css to this class okay and see how the difference is there okay so i am adding one class right and here with this i am adding background color background color as red okay. so let's see how background color looks right no background color because right now the image is overriding this background color okay to see the actual effect we can add a background blend mode and the value we can give first screen okay and let's see what is the difference yeah so there is in this example the default background image on this left side has no blend mode set okay so the image overlaps the background color as you can see no background color red is looking here it is not uh, there it is there but you can't see because of the background image right and the blend mode has modified the background image with the red background color here right so you have to notice one thing here the text color has no not affected the text color is still black right because of this background blend mode property so you can see the difference when you use this background blend mode property okay so there are uh, three possible values the initial the default value with no blending inherit that will inherit the blend mode of the parent element and the third value is blend mode so we will see each and 
every value so let me add the first value as normal okay so let's see so this is the normal the background color will not bleed through the background image right let's see the second it's multiply let's see how it looks so the background image and background color are multiplied and typically this leads to a darker image than before right you can you can see the difference so this is for multiply for screen we already uh, seen the actual value both image and color is inverted multiplied and then inverted again so this is screen the next value is overlay let's see how it looks so overlay in overlay the background color is mixed with the background image to reflect the lightness or darkness of the backdrop so here you can see the image the background image right the next one is darken okay so let's see how it looks yeah. so if the background image is darker than the background color then the image is replaced otherwise it is left as it was so this is the darken the next is lighten it is opposite if the background image is lighter than the background color then the image is replaced otherwise it is left as it was okay the next one is color dot see the background color is divided by the inverse of the background image for this color dodge okay this is very similar to the screen blend mode all right okay next is color burn okay here the background color is inverted divided by the background image and inverted again and this is uh, completely similar to multiply okay next one is hard light so all, not all these see, uh, values are useful in our daily uses but yeah it is good to know so in this hard light if the background image is lighter than the background color then the result is multiply or if it is lighter than the result is screen okay so it is based on uh, which image and which background color you have used okay the next is soft light so as this name suggests the final result is similar to hard light but it is softer in that it looks like a diffuse spotlight that has been placed on the image okay so you can't see this image uh, that effect right now because of the color and the image okay and the next value is difference so here the result by substituting the darker color of the background image and the background color from the lightest one so this is how it looks right this is little bit strange but yeah you can use it okay the next one is exclusion okay the result is very similar to the difference but a little bit lower contrast yeah the next one is u so what it does the result is uh, result of the u is the background color a background image combined with the luminosity and saturation of the background color okay so this is also not that much useful and the next one is saturation so it will keep the saturation of the background image while mixing the hue and luminosity of the background color okay so this is also fine the next one is color it keeps the hue and saturation of background image and the luminosity of the background color right and the last one is luminosity okay so luminosity of the top color is preserved while using the saturation and hue of the background color so this is i think a very good example it looks good isn't it yeah so uh, that those are the possible values of background blend mode css property all right thanks for watching guys if you like this video please hit the like button if you want to see more videos like these hit the subscribe button and if you have any any comments or if you have, want to say something please leave your comments thank you